so there are many possibilities uh, that you can do with just the blinking uh, LED blinking like this one for example all LED there are I add five more LED make it up a six LED and then we blink it up a faster blinking compared to the previous one so you can try to construct this circuit on Proteus uh, so that you can try to run it on Proteus and know how to run it in Proteus before you rerun it again with this Tinkercad software here so as you can see here the blinking is much faster yeah, which means that we change the delay and then we change the uh, pin number here in our coding previously and try to do it first uh, if you have problems you can always ask me no problems uh, but uh, again you can try to do it first make sure you get it and uh, if it is still not challenging enough for you then we will proceed with the next uh, task so basically this is your first activity that you can try by your own self uh, I, I will not reveal the answer yet I will reveal it later uh, only if no one get the answer then I will reveal it if not then you can just ask me and I will help you find the get to get the answer of this uh, method uh, on how to do this uh, blinking uh, but this is very simple so since this is very simple some of you might think it's not challenging enough so let's go to the uh, activity number two which is this one uh, as you can see here uh, it is what we call a running light yeah so it move from uh, left to right and then left to right again left to right again until the end of time lah. yeah uh, so this is in Proteus and if we open in this uh, Tinkercad again so we can also see the same thing yeah so again try both yeah try both for those who don't have hardware for those who have hardware just try with the Proteus and directly with your hardware if you have enough LED, if you don't have enough LED, you still cannot do that. Actually, you, I can show you the, the answer to this. Uh, so this is the answer uh, uh, for this this exercise two, the running light. But as you can see, to do this simple task, it requires a very lengthy of a very long uh, codes, yeah. Which means that this is not the best solution that's why i can show you this bad solution here uh, which means i want you to uh, find the best solution uh, you need to try to shorten this uh, coding here uh, by using what we have learned in c programming last time which is what we call a loop uh, just like the void loop here yeah uh, which is repetitive as you can see this is a repetitive statement yeah? it's just repetitions but uh, one uh, high and then another low and then one more high another low so it's just a repetitive statement why we need to repetitively write the code as long uh, just very long like this just to do a very simple uh, simple task uh, I, as I remember there is one student Kiming eh, from Kota, Kota Baru Kelantan eh, have uh, asked in the feedback in the Padlet last time eh, uh, what do you want to learn from me he said a simple and smartest way to solve an, any kind of problem related to microcontroller programming as this is a long life knowledge so this is the worst and the, 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 the idiot way not the smartest way that's why I need you to think of a little bit on how to shorten this uh, code uh, which we call as the smartest way lah, which we try to make it smart by shorting it by using a loop and there are two looping that we uh, have learned in uh, in C programming previously which is by using either the for loop or the uh, while loop yeah, there are two loop which is for loop or while loop so either one you can use yeah so or antara dua yeah you can choose one of it whether you want to use for loop or while loop yeah uh, but i can show just a sneak peek on this on what how to use the for loop yeah so again uh, for for loop yeah uh, we just need to tell the in 
uh, the initial value yeah the initial value of our uh, uh of the the our variable for example our variable that is changing now is the led the led the first led the second led the third led so let's say there are uh, uh, i uh, the led numbering is stated as i the first i value is zero the initial value of the led the first led yeah and then since uh and then we move from led 1 0 1 2 3 until led 6 meaning that we need to check the maximum value so the maximum value uh, that it need to stop doing or stop uh, or, or it need to come out from the loop which is the uh, final led the since we have six led so the maximum is the number six led and then what you need to do when after uh, the first led and then it goes to the second led and then the second led goes to the third led uh, four and five meaning that the i will equals to i plus one yeah. uh, or this is also not the the, the most uh, smartest way the smartest way when the i need to be i plus one we just i plus plus yeah that's it this is just just a revision of c programming last time so this is the sneak peek of the answer so i will not reveal directly 100 percent all the answer which means that all the steps that you need to do is within this this curly bracket here so what you need to put inside this curly bracket here yeah what you need to do okay yeah so in other words digital right will be inside here so it might be i i don't know huh? uh, so try to do this first if you have problems again feel free to ask me uh if you uh, you confuse or anything just ask me and don't worry don't be shy i will be more than happy to help you and i will reveal the answer later on uh, which will be during our first uh, real time q and a session synchronous q and a session which, which will be in the next uh, following weeks so I will give you to do this first, explore this first, and then we will uh, do the Q and A session, which you can ask me questions, you can ask any problems that you have. Just, uh, just uh, make sure that uh, you do it first, so that you you know which parts you really don't understand and which part you have problems. So this is the activity number two. Okay, so the third activity that you need to do is uh, this one here yeah. as you can see it's almost the same like previously but the previously is only run in one direction after uh, from d2 so until d6 and then it goes back to d2 until d6 but this one it goes from d2 into d6 and then going back from d6 into until d2 yeah this is quite challenging compared to the previous one so this is if you use the proteus and again, if you want to uh, visualize it in uh, Tinkercad, you can use Tinkercad. Yeah, the same thing, just like that. Yeah. So as usual, I just give you a sneak peek on the on the code, uh, just the hint, uh, so that you can try by yourself first before you get the answer. Although actually the answer is already in the slides, uh, but uh, don't look at the slides yet. Yeah? Uh, just do this first. Uh, so this is one example uh, one more hint uh, last time I give you hint of using 4 uh, and then the best thing one more way to get the best scores is by using array so that again as you can see when you just use the void setup also you can just use a four, 4 lines only you don't need up to seven lines six lines because you have six uh pins yeah six different outputs uh, six different ports uh, output ports so you need to tell the pin mode for each port but now you don't need to do 
every time because you have to use you have already using array here uh, so this is one more way uh, to make your uh, your code shorter uh, but this is just a hint uh, just a hint uh, so again uh, you can try to play around from here uh, from this code here until you get the answer if you still cannot get the answer you can ask me or can you can refer to the slides and the last and final task for the blinking LED uh, is this one uh, so if you can see this uh, again the only values or the only blinking colors or LED is just the odd LED only uh, which in uh, in pin 2 pin uh, 4 and pin 6 only so this is the only bl that blinking the others is remain turn off so if, again if you want to visualize it in circle so you can see here uh, the first uh, LED the third LED and the fourth LED only that is blinking meaning that only the uh, only the odd number of LED will be blinking the others will turn off so this I think is the most uh, complex one if we want to shorten it uh, and therefore I will give the marks for our uh, continuous assessment for this one yeah so in other words this will be our first continuous assessment marks for our course here yeah? which means that try to uh, do this and submit your work in Google classroom that I will share the, the link in the Google classroom so try to make sure again make sure it is short yeah uh, even if it is not short you still can get marks but if you are the first one to submit your works you will get extra marks okay so if you are the first one to submit the best solution and uh, the shortest solution uh, you will get another extra mark so in other words the best so solution will get two extra marks although if you are not submitting the earliest but if you are still the best solution then you will still get the extra marks and therefore please think about on how to get this extra marks or how to get the best solution uh, and I give you one hint for this one compared to the previous one so now if you look at this this has this uh, function here uh, the if function uh, compared to the previously yeah which means there are decision making here yeah? so in other words in this uh, task here you will do you will use almost everything that you have learned in C programming class yeah? the for loop that I uh, have already explained it before and then also the if and also the remainder uh, operations there so again this is the remainder operation so i divide by 2 the remainder is 0 so again any value that divide by 2 which gives remainder 0 meaning that it is an even number yeah and then if the i divide by 2 has a remainder of 1 uh, just like the ones below which I will not reveal what happens under that uh, this means that this uh, function or this if statement here is to check whether the values is odd or even so this means that this is when the value is odd because it gives a remainder of 1 and this is when the uh, what happens when the, the value is even to check what happens when uh, uh, something divided by 2 equals to 0 which means when it is even number so again try to think of how to solve this those who get the shortest and the best solution 
will get an, a two extra marks and those who submit earliest will get one extra marks so again in other words if you are the earliest and have the best solution you will get as maximum as three marks so uh, that's it i think uh, that's all the tasks for this first led blinking or the basic blinking uh, programming which we combine every programming uh, knowledge that we have before in this four tasks although it seems simple at first but when we combine everything it might be a little bit tricky especially for those who are uh, not strong in programming this is where you start to explore more so that you can be more uh, understanding on the how the programming works and so that you are uh, more uh, you you will be better in your programming skills and therefore please do all the tasks given especially the last parts here the last activity here the activity for here because this activity for here will contribute to your uh, continuous assessment marks if you don't do that you will not get your marks so please do that and submit before the deadline and as usual if you have any problems uh, feel free to ask me anytime i will help you i will try my best to help you yeah, although i i not uh, explain every coding is here but uh, if you ask me if you really need uh, my help if you really don't understand don't have any idea just ask i will help you by revealing one by one what what, what happens and how you 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 uh, can complete the codes and uh, actually the answer is in the slides yeah so if you don't understand you can contact me either privately or in the group a whatsapp group anywhere it's fine don't be shy don't be afraid i'll, I'll be there for you i will help you uh, and that's it yeah that's it for the the led blinking task i uh, hope you learn a lot uh, and you uh, you can have a lot of idea on what to do with the blinking uh, especially uh, again the blinking seems simple but the, it is the best the, the, the most uh, the best notification methods uh, of all time it is the cheapest it is the easiest and it is uh, the most alarming uh, notification when the blinking goes faster so we already know that uh, it must be something happens yeah for example so you can think of how to apply this in your project later yeah for example if a sensor uh, detecting something it will blinking faster if the sensor is far from certain things so it blinking uh, slower and if start if it is doesn't it does not detect anything then it stop blinking for example yeah so it gives some idea for the user uh, of your device on what happens so this is a good indication and that's why uh, this although it seems simple but actually it gives a very good indication for people who use uh, your device uh, and that is the conclusion that I can make uh, so again please think where you can apply this knowledge and please do the final the last activity for that I, I uh, give you uh, and submit it before the deadline uh, as your continuous assessment mark and that's it for me uh, again if you don't understand you can always repeat this video as many times as you like and uh, that's it uh, uh, I think uh, stay safe stay curious and stay joyful uh, I'm Ikhwan may God bless you Assalamualaikum